In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious, my dear students of grade 8, peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you. Today we are going to discuss Unit 12, Explore and Present. And now we will start studying, exploring abilities in our workbook, page 33. Now let's start with the first exercise. Try to think about these questions and find a suitable answers. Choose the correct answer now with the first point. Palm trees are space and quiet and they represent about 89% of the fruit trees in the country. Remote, widespread, advanced, suitable. Yes, excellent. Widespread. Palm trees are widespread in Kuwait and they represent about 89% of the fruit trees in the country. Let's turn to the second point. The teacher positively space the student's response. Reinforced, appeared, snapped, reused. Yes, excellent. Reinforce it. The teacher positively reinforced the student's response. Now with number three, our solar system is only a small part of the narration, content, motion, universe. Yes, excellent. Our solar system is only a small part of the universe. Number four, the artist wasn't space satisfied with his drawing. Historically, entirely, correctly, a hit. Yes, excellent. Entirely. Entirely means completely. The artist wasn't completely or entirely satisfied with his drawing. Now, with grammar in context, indefinite pronouns, Someone, somebody, everyone, everybody, and anyone, anybody, no one, nobody. How can we use them? Now, we use somebody, something, and somewhere in positive sentences. And use nobody, anything, and anywhere in negative sentences and questions. Also, we use everybody, everything, and everywhere to talk about all people, things, or places. The negative forms are nobody, nothing, and nowhere. Use a singular verb with these words. Now, let's start studying the second exercise. Choose the right terms and complete the sentences. Have your time reading these questions and try to think about them to find the suitable answers. Yes, let's read your answers. Let's start with the first point. Everybody or anybody searched the house for the missing book, but, yes, excellent, everybody, everybody searched the house for the missing book, but nobody found it. Let's turn to the next point. I am very happy that nothing or everything is going well for you and... Yes, excellent. I am very happy that everything is going well for you and I wish nothing but the best for you. Now, number three. Everybody or nobody at all came to the match, however. Yes, excellent. Nobody at all. Nobody at all came to the match, however, our team played well and won the match. Let's turn to number four. The police looked for evidence but found 
nothing or everything. So, yes, the police looked for evidence but found nothing. So they couldn't find the criminal. Now with number five, can nobody or anybody help me solve this problem? I need. Excellent. Can anybody? Because this is a question and we use anybody with question forms. So it will be, can anybody help me solve this problem? I need help to do my homework and solve this problem. Now with the last point, I'm not going somewhere or anywhere. Excellent. I'm not going anywhere because this is a negative form. So we used anywhere. I'm not going anywhere because I have to stay at home to study for the test. Let's start studying grammar in context need to. The past of need to is needed to. We need to buy a new laptop. This is the present tense. We needed to buy a new laptop. This is the past tense. Needed to. Needed to. So here, need to buy. It has become needed to buy. The past of do you need to is did you need to. Do you need to search the web? This is the present tense. And it will be, did you need to search the web if we want to use the past tense? The past of don't need to is did it need to. We don't need to do that exercise. This is the present tense. We didn't need to do that exercise. This is the past tense. Now, let's check your understanding. Complete the sentences with an appropriate form of need to. Have your time reading these questions and try to think about them to find suitable answers. Let's check your answers. Now, with the second point. Did you need to wait long? Excellent. Did you need to wait long? No, only five minutes. Let's turn to the next point, number three. The teachers work, yes, work will be. Excellent. Needed to work. The teachers needed to work very late on the day of the exams. And with number four, not get up. It will be, I didn't need to get up. I didn't need to get up early this morning. It was a holiday. Let's turn to number five. Mr. Talal, not drive. It will be, didn't need to drive, didn't need to, didn't need to drive. Mr. Talal didn't need to drive to the beach because there was a bus. Now, with language practice, relative pronouns. Who, where, which, and when. <clears throat> There are some important points to remember about relative pronouns. At first, we use which, that, who, where, and when to explain which noun you are talking about. For example, 
The man works in that shop. He lives in Egypt. Now we are talking about a person. So it will be, yes, who? The man who works in that shop lives in Egypt. Another example. We live in a small town. It has a lot of trees. Yes, where? We used where because we were talking about a place. We live in a small town where there are a lot of trees. Relative pronouns in English. Who? And it relates to people as a subject. The musician who wrote this song is French. Which? And it relates to animals and objects. This is the cake which Mary made. When? And it refers to time. When we are talking about time, we use when as a relative pronoun. The day when the concert takes place is Saturday. And where? Where refers to places. This is the house where my son was born. Now, in your workbook, page 35, let's check your understanding with exercise 4. Complete the sentences using relative pronouns or clauses. Have your time reading these points and think about the suitable answers for them. Let's check your answers. The first point, I have lost the ring. What is a ring? Is it a thing? Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it a time? Yes, excellent. It's a thing. So we will choose which I have lost the ring, which my mother gave me. Now it's turn to the second point. Do you know the man? The man, he is a person. That's a clear point that we will use. Who? Excellent. Do you know the man who is standing outside? Do you know the man who is standing outside? Now with the third point. They visited the place. Place is talking about place. So it will be where they visited the place where there are beautiful views. Number four. They bought a magazine. They bought a magazine. Yes, which costed them 6KD because a magazine is a thing. Do you remember point number five? Do you remember the time when we first met? Do you remember the time when we first met? So we used when because this question was talking about the time. Now with exercise number five, use relative clauses to describe a person, a place, and a thing. As for example, the time when our relatives visited us was the best ever. Have your time and try to think about these points. Yes? Read your answers. The first point, the person who is sitting there is our neighbor. Now we are talking about a person, so we used who. The second point, the place where we went for a picnic was amazing. Now, we talked about a place, so we used 
were. Number three, I love the present which you gave me. Here we used which because we were talking about something. At the end, I hope you have got all information about Unit 12, Explore and Present. Thank you for following me. All the best, my dear students of Grade 8.